So G limit as X approaches negative infinity. 6X to the fifth plus 3X cubed plus 5. Okay, solution. Hmm? Factor out. Oh, factor out pa rin. Okay, so limit as X approaches negative infinity. Factor out X to the fifth. You have 6 plus 3 over x squared plus 5 over x to the fifth. Okay, common mistake in this question is you divide by x to the 5 immediately. Okay, mali yun, ha? You have to factor out x to the fifth. So, this will be uh, getting the limit of each. So, x to the fifth, it's an odd exponent. Think of a, a very small number, negative. You place it on the x to raise to 5. What kind of number are you getting? Negative, pa rin, in, in, which is still a negative infinity in effect. But inside, constant is constant. Something over x raised to an exponent will be 0. So this will be negative infinity times 6. And 6 will not matter because this will, will still be negative infinity. And okay, so let us show the common mistake. So if we, suppose we decided to just divide everything by, kita <clears throat> ba? We have 6x to the 5th plus 3x cubed plus 5. If you decide to divide by x to the 5th, which is actually mathematically incorrect because you cannot just divide by x to the 5th without balancing it with x to the 5th on top. Okay? But if you are, if you will be careless, so you divide, this becomes x squared and 5 over x to the 5. You will think that this will be 6 plus 0 plus 0 and your answer will be 6 which is wrong. Okay, nawala yung infinity. Okay, so this is uh, wrong. Okay. Next, H. We have a one-sided limit. So technique or suggestion. What will you do? Substitute. Okay, let's go back to the basic technique. We substitute and we think, is it positive 7? Negative. negative 7. So negative 7 plus 7 is negative 4 over 0. <coughs> 0 which we could think as undefined. So in effect, it's infinity. But in infinity, we always ask, is it positive or negative infinity? So how can we tell if it's positive or negative infinity? Idea. How can we tell? Approaching, right? So if we are approaching negative 7 from the left, so, give me a number very close to negative 7 from the left. From the left, huh? Negative 8. That's the left. So, if this is a negative 8, negative 8 yan, the negative 8 plus 7 will be a negative number. Tama? So, that means your 0, the 0 here, is approaching, or the value is approaching 0 through negative numbers. If we have negative 4 over some number very close to 0 from the negative, so negative over negative is positive. So that's how you select which infinity is going to be the answer. Okay, what numbers are we considering? It says negative 7 from the left. Okay, so we take an example like negative 8 
and if we substitute the value below is a negative 1 so we're approaching 0 through negative numbers okay any question yes Okay, sub muna. Okay, and then you check. Sometimes, uh, it is possible that you get a number, and that's the limit. But if you get uh, an undefined value, then that's the time that you test a number, depending on where you are trying to approach, from the left or from the right. Okay, so do not always think like, use a negative 8, use a negative 9. Check first, are you getting an infinity? Then you decide whether it's positive or negative. Okay, so no question there.